Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm with friend to the channel, Chuck Moranto, and we have a one of 30 car for you. Chuck, what year make and model is this one? Uh, this year, this, this model is a 1965 Fiat Albarth 1000 OT, uh, which they made approximately 30 from the factory. It could be 32, I'm not sure. Uh, there were some fakes built, but this was a factory car. <laughs> you're gonna, well, this is gonna be something you're not gonna see before, probably. So let's come right to the side of the car and take a look at that. Now, first of all, Chuck, this is a new one for you. Yeah, I, I uh, acquired this car at the Elkhart auction uh, last year. And I wanna, even though we're on the side, I want you to just fix your eyes on the front of this car because this was a one year only. Let me get closer to some of the badges before I go to the front. So the bodies by Bertoni, as you can see, we've got the sun hitting it just right. Campagnolo. Campagnolo, and we've got the magnesium, right? Yes. And look at these little door handles, the way that works. Look, that's it. Just like that. We'll turn it around for you and put the uh, sun in the back so that we can have the sun on the engine compartment when we get there. But let me feature this unmistakable front. There's the Abarth, which is the performance version. And take a look at the headlights. The last time you may have seen headlights like that would be on the Mura. <laughs> what a car! Those are Carrillo. Carrillo. Yeah. Okay. Why did you uh, Why did you want to pick this one? Can we open the uh, front area here? So it's in the glove box. Yeah. Bertoni puts always puts their their uh, controls in the glove box. Okay. Look at that. So look at the little baby wheel. The all-important piece right there, the badge telling you what it is. Wow, the badge is a dual yeah. badge car. You got that right. The, 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 one of the interesting stories about this car is yeah. that this is the second one that I have owned. Uh, of the 30. Of, yeah. <laughs> the first one was just a magnificent car. Chuck, both of them, both of them of, came out of Italy. Of course, you have two of them. <laughs> so I had this car, and uh, a guy in Indianapolis that I know, a significant car, says, "Hey, I don't have anything on my website for this car. Can I list it?" And I said, "Well, I, I don't want to sell it." And he goes, "Well, let's list it at some god awful astronomical price, and then we'll, for sure we won't sell it." So he puts it on his site, and like three weeks later, I get a call from him, and he says, do you want the good news or the bad news? And I go, I, I don't want any news. He says, what's the bad news? He says, the bad news is I had to sell it, because it was on my site. He said, the good news is they paid three times what it was worth. Wow. And I said, who bought it? And he says, the, the, the um, uh, film company that was shooting Zoolander 2 in, in Rome. Wow. And they took the car and they shipped it over there and this and my car was the car that they ran all through the movie and then they finally they crashed it oh my destroyed God. it, you know. Oh. So, oh, that's so I had to re I had to replace it. <laughs> you had to find how do you even find another one of well, thirty? This was the one that, in that auction that, that there was there was, you know, the one. So that's the uh, bag for the uh windshield wiper yeah. fluid. That's great. All right, we can close that. I see a little vent there and look at the little baby pieces here is that brake fluid yeah that's the brake oh my master gosh cylinder. you could put that in there with a thimble all right we'll, well, we'll close that it's not a huge system but i'm actually let's uh we're going to turn it around so we've turned it around so you can see the back of it and chuck share with me this badge here it says abarth 1000 now tell me this car wasn't originally a thousand cc's. What's the story? Originally, behind it? it was 800. The standard Fiat was 800, 850 cc's. So they they replaced the engine uh, with a 1,000 cc engine. They cleaned it up quite a bit. They did a special uh, manifolds for the exhaust yeah, and whatnot. I see that. Um, All the parts. Nice little header system, right? 
it's even got, and I ha I'd have to turn the headlights on to show you, but there's a switch here, and this switch turns on these lights that are in the engine compartment here. Okay, I see that switch. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. And there's also one in the front. And this is That's the oil? overflow for the radiator. Radiator, got it. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. So this, there's, here's the story. Yeah, here. please. So if you notice, this car has an oil cooler, which it did not come with, okay. and I, I will be removing that. Okay. And then it also had an electric fan on the other side of the radiator. Okay. It, which they didn't need because this thing blows a, an amount, a massive amount of air. Okay. But what, ninety percent of all the people that had these back in the day, the mistake they made. They immediately went to AutoZone and they bought a stamped radiator cap so they'd get more pressure and it wouldn't get as hot. Yeah. Unfortunately, the Fiat radiator cap is a unique cap and nothing else works. So they took that cap, they threw that out, they put the stamp in, the stamp couldn't hold pressure and the oh, car no. overheated. So they started throwing parts at it to make sure it wouldn't overheat. Yeah, that's... Well, the first thing I did when I got it, I took it off, I saw it was the wrong cap. I, I keep these caps. I put one on, turned it on, ran like a charm. Well, is that you right? Know? Just the radiator cap. Just the cap. radiator cap. There's a huge a... tip. So that's a yeah. Fiat cap that's right there. That's a Fiat cap, and it's seven-eighths of an inch deep as opposed to half-inch deep. So you can see if you put a stant in there, you'd only probably hold two or three pounds and it'd start overheating. How did you figure that trick out? Oh, I, 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 you, you I'm a Fiat it. guy. Yeah, yeah, you're a Fiat I, guy. I All stock right. them. Okay. I have them in stock. Let me. We are going to turn it on. Let me show the interior. May I? Yes, you may. Thank you. Look at the baby thin door on this one. You can hear it creaking. I'm going to have you hold that for just a second. So you can see that. Naturally, the right amount of pedals. And look at the toggle switches here and you can see a little carbon fiber like weave yeah I don't, I don't probably it's fake no. yeah it may be but it looks pretty cool it looks good yeah it looks cool all of the instrumentation and then an, an option from the factory back in Italy was <laughs> those two gauges on the right there. I was just going to say that's one was the battery and one's a clock. Right, for the passenger there and then your glove box where you can open up. Yeah. Four speed obviously, your yeah. braking. I just want to show people the seating here. So you get the seat. Now there's something else in the rear that I did not point out that you ought to, ought to point out. Yeah, show me something. Because this was a European delivery car, it did not come with a backup light. It came with a rain light. That's a rain light, and it's bright red. And I'll show you when I can start. To okay. Start to kind of this design. one here. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Most yeah. European cars come with rain lights. Okay, rain lights.
that, by the way, is a heater button. connected to the road. What a fun little toy we have today. Chuck, what's the reaction when you drive this? Everybody gets too close. Everybody gets too close. They want to see what it is. Got it. Just amazing. So much fun. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story. Such a treat to be in this one with you. My pleasure. Thank you.